and I flatten out my brush like this. Can you see how I'm flattening it? So you can see that kind of feathers it out. Now you dip a little into the edge of the paint, flatten it out, and that creates the little feathery-like effects on the edge. Then you come up to your palette, I mean up to your painting, and if you want to, you can use your stick now, and you would just kind of lean it up against here, and you just start wherever you feel like you need to start, and you begin dry brushing down like this, and I'm hoping they can see this. I don't I don't think I can, but I may, I may have things in the way, but we'll try this, and then we can adjust here in a minute. But see, you start like this, coming downward, dry brushing the first values of color. And I'm going to reload quickly, and all I'm going to do here is dry brush in first layer of color to help form the body. See how I'm dry brushing? I'm barely touching. Come down here to the leg. If you'll notice here, what you're going to do is create light against dark. Those are the contrasting things that give your painting its form or your, or your object its form. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if it's an animal, a bird, a person, a rock, or a tree. You have to have these light and dark contrasts. So see, I'm going in here, just barely skimming the surface, and that gives me that soft fur type look. And notice how I skip around, allowing the background to become an integral part of his body. Now up here, where he has a little more of a muscular effect to his the chest and the neck area, See how I'm kind of dry brushing? I'm whipping the brush, following my form, but I'm leaving little dark pockets, and that's, that's how you create the shapes of him, the form, like where the fur tucks in under a muscle form or whatever. This is the same technique you use for birds, only on birds, you're not trying to create such a muscular effect. Here, the fur is thin, and so you can actually see how it attaches to the muscles better. See how we're doing that? You can see the darks and lights. It may not show up too much yet, but we're not ready to make it any brighter yet. All right, we go up now. We can go up to the head if we want to. And you just lighten certain areas just to begin forming the shapes of the body. And then we'll analyze it and come back in a few minutes and begin detailing. And that's how you do it. You just go through the whole animal here, laying in some of the intermediate values of color that's just a little bit lighter than the original dark. Then we make this value a little lighter in a minute, a little lighter, until it comes forward and we have all the details on. And then we can highlight it with the outer edges, the bright whites, the little silver linings and things giving it its finished look, OK? Okay, now you can see I've just gone through here and we've dry brushed in a few just a simple highlights to suggest little bits of form of the body, okay? And you can continue doing this for a long time. Uh, I go right on up in here to the hindquarters. You see I suggest this little raised area here and then it's dark right there. That's where the, the, this particular leg sticks out from that part of the body. We go right on down the edge of the leg there, kind of highlight that. But notice I'm dry brushing it. And you can see the little, if they're closing in enough, hopefully they can. And, and sometimes it's difficult doing this real fine stuff. But you can see the actual brush strokes. That's what makes it look like fur or hair or uh, feathers 